Hi, Flow family. Martin here. Mason. Hey guys, we're taking a look. Um, we've had some questions about the heating pads being connected uh, with this little guy, the Grounding Pro, and the temperature controller. So Mason's going to show us real quick how to properly do this. Yeah. So Mason, let's do it. Show us what's up. Okay, so these are your two heating pads. Uh, the first thing you want to do when you're setting up your heating system is you want to make sure that the this side up sticker or patch is always up. Um, if you see one and you don't see the other, there's a good chance that one is upside down and the heat radiates up. So if you've got your pad upside down, it's going to radiate in the floor and you're not going to get the heat that you need. Um, so once you verify that everything is in the right position, you want to get the temperature controller out. And this is the North American version, so it's a little bit different from international models, but it's the same concept. So this is the temperature controller. Um, you've got a little screen here that will adjust the temperature up and down, and you can set it to whatever you'd like. These are the two plugs that you want to plug each heating pad into, and then this plugs into your outlet. So the first thing you want to do is you want to choose a plug, and it doesn't matter which one, um, but you want to choose a plug, and you want to install your grounding probe into one of these plugs. Okay. And then once you've done that, you take one of your temperature controller plugs, and you plug it into the grounding probe plug. Nice. Doesn't matter which one as long as it's in line. And then you plug your second plug in. And then you plug this into your wall. Um, you install this through the neoprene sock if you're in a tank or between the tent cover and the tent tub if you're in a tent. Now this needs to be under the water. It does. And so um, we say, you know, you can use one of those zip ties or some extras that come with. You want it above the floor. You don't want to touch the floor, but you want it basically suspended in the water. Yeah. Um, so you always want it in contact, and you never really want to touch it. So it should be out of the way, the back of the, the tank or tent, um, and touching the water, but you don't ever want to like have to touch it. You will get a small shock if you do that. Uh, so, you know, don't do it unless you have to. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, like you said, just use a fastener of some sort and put it out of the way somewhere you're not going to touch when you're floating. Um, and it can just sit in the water. You want to make sure that it is submerged, like you said. Awesome. So I think this is the most important part. I think this is really what uh, people were asking questions about, sure. which is heating pad cord straight into controller, heating pad cord, grounding probe plugged in between, controller cord straight in, and then that's the then into the wall. Yep. So just keeping that in line doesn't matter. It's on this side or this side, but it's got to be in between one of them, and then that into the tank or tent grounding. Yeah, and then uh, one more thing, there are two different probes in the tank. Um, so you've got the grounding probe, which we already talked about, it's a metal probe. And then you've got this plastic one, I don't know if you can see it, it's plastic and black, and a little bit smaller than the grounding probe. This yeah. is the temperature sensor. We'll hold them up next to each other. Yeah, so you can see the difference there. Um, this one just makes sure your water is grounded and keeps you safe. This one continually monitors the temperature of the water and tells the computer in here whether or not to keep your uh, heating pads on or off. So. Um, it's important to keep this one submerged in the water as well so that your temperature is accurate. Yeah, so you can even put them next to each other, down into the tank or tent, zip tie real quick, they're both below the water, it's keeping you safe, it's keeping you warm. Yep. Cool. I think that's it. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Thanks. We'll see you later.